Hi, this is Grace Pamela at Stomata.com and I'm going to go over layer mask in Photoshop. This is a fun tool that we use, most photographers use almost daily if you want to add new effects to your images in a non-destructive way. Now, what I mean by non-destructive is, let's say we wanted to add um, a new effect. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a texture just to show you guys an example. Okay, so what I mean by uh, non-destructive is this, let's say I took my eraser tool and I started erasing it off of her because I want the texture around her and on the building and not on her. So this is just a, a quick example. You'll see here on this effect that a chunk of it is missing and that's because we erased it. Now let's say we wanted to go back and we notice a little uh, a spot where we completely messed up and we want that effect back. We aren't able to get that effect back because we completely erased it. There's no way to get it back unless you go into your history panel and you try to go back. But the problem with that is if you've already added a bunch of other effects and um, all of that stuff and you did a lot of work on your image, you're not able to always go back into your history that far because it will start um, overlapping with the new stuff that you added. So layer masks are a wonderful way to completely um, edit your effect without it being um, destructive. Now I'm going to make this a really strong effect. Normally I would not want it that strong, but I'm going to make it stronger so you can see what I'm doing in more depth and detail. Okay, so here we have our layer. This is our effect that we're applying to our image, but we want to erase it off of her. So this is when a little thing called layer mask becomes very handy. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to apply your layer mask. And how to do that is by selecting this little rectangle with a circle in it here. Now we have a white layer mask. So I'm going to show you really quick. Um, white layer mask reveals your effect and a black layer mask conceals. So if you select Command or Control I on your keyboard and you select your layer mask, it will completely invert that layer mask. So black, now you see it's completely hidden. So you don't have your effect. It's still there, but it's hidden right now. So one of the cool things you can do is grab a soft um, paintbrush. So your paintbrush is right here, and you're going to go up here, and you can select the hardness that you want. It completely depends on your effect if you're going to have hard or soft. Um, and then also I'm going to use the bracket key um, on my keyboard. My left bracket key makes the brush smaller. My right makes it bigger. Otherwise, you can also change the size right here. And I'm going to be painting with a 100% opacity brush so I can make sure I have it um, on my, so my effect is on 100%. And then I'm going to select D on my keyboard to bring my colors back to default because sometimes you have a lot of wonky colors there. And we need our black and white um, layer mask colors. So you can see now, we can see it on an image where we personally go in and paint it on. And you can also change the opacity of that effect on how much you want it on there, how strong. So that's one way that you can do it is you can have a black layer mask and then you can paint white on to reveal it. Another way that you can do it is you can leave it white and you can use a black paintbrush to conceal parts of your effect on your image. So you can either paint it on or you can paint it off. Completely up to you. And it also depends completely on your image. One or the other might be easier, so it's always nice to know how to do it both ways just in case. Okay, so now we have our effect applied only to where we want it and it's not on her. We can change the opacity and make it look nicer if we want and all that fun stuff. If you want to preview the effect, you select this eye here and that will hide it. And then you can also um, turn the eye back on and it will uh, also show it to you. If you hit shift or command on your keyboard and then you select your layer mask, so you, on, it depends if you're on a PC or a Mac, so you select shift if it's a PC or a command if it's a Mac. 
and then you select it, it will also disable. So you can either disable it by selecting the eye or you can select shift or command and select it. So that's two ways that you can kind of preview what your effect looks like. Another thing that's very useful to know is if you hit the backslash key on your keyboard, it will show you where you applied your effect, where you painted, I should say, because your effect is out here. But this is where I painted. So if it was a black layer mask and I was using um, white to do it, then you can see it will light up the rest of it. So let's invert this and then you can see what I mean. So now my effect is only applied. Uh, you can see where I painted it off of her. Okay, so now back to here, we hit our backslash key and we can kind of see um, that I missed a few spots. So you can go ahead and keep using your black soft paintbrush and you can continue to paint off the spots that you missed. If you want another way you can do this, you can select Alt or Option on your keyboard and select the layer mask. And here, you can see um, in full effect without the image being visible where you applied that effect. So you can continue to see spots that you missed. So these are very important to know to make sure that you do not miss any spots, especially if you have something that's very tedious and you really don't want that effect applied to certain areas. And then you can select Alt or Option again to um, and click your layer mask to get rid of that. So there, now you have a, now you know how to apply your layer mask and you also know how to completely edit your um, image by applying the effect to your layer mask. So it's all very useful information to know. Now, let's say we wanted to apply another effect on top of that effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply another texture here. Press continue. And now I have, you'll see that the layer mask only applies to that layer that you added it to. So now you see there's texture back on her because we added another texture um, that doesn't have that same layer mask. So what you can do is you can either go and add a new layer mask and paint it off of her again, or a shortcut that I like to use to speed up my workflow is you select Alt on your keyboard and drag it down and now you have it on both without doing all of that hard work again. So that's very interesting to know. Now, another thing, if you already have um, a layer mask there, but you don't have your same layer mask where you already painted it, um, all you do is you do the same thing. You select Alt or Command on your keyboard. I'm sorry, Alt or Option on your keyboard. And then you go down um, You select Alt or Option on your keyboard and you drag it down same way, but this time you select Replace Layer Mask and you select Yes. So now you have a brand new layer mask and you have the effects applied. If you want to delete those layer masks, let's say you wanted to start over again, just take that layer mask and drag it down and select Delete. Another thing you can do is if you have multiple effects that you want to add but you only want to use one layer mask is you can add your layers i'm going to select control and then we're going to select my effects here and i'm going to select group this is the little group icon here you can also right click so now i have all of them into a group so now the great thing you can do with layer mask is you can apply it to your entire group of effects so now when i paint on this group layer mask, you'll see that the effect is being applied to both of those effects in there and any new ones that you add to it also. And then you can also adjust the opacity to the same. So it's pretty neat to be able to completely know um, all these little effects in, in different ways that you can use them just in case because every image is going to be so different. Okay, another thing that's really neat to know is when you have your um, layer mask here, you can also apply a new effect to it and clip it down. So for example, let's say I didn't, I like these textures, but I really like the blue showing through on my wall here. So I want the texture, but I don't want the color. So what you can do is you can add a gradient map 
select black and white here and I can right click that effect and select create clipping mask. So that's a really neat way that you can also do it. I'm going to do it to this one also. Create clipping mask. So now you can see this effect is only being applied to this layer mask. So you don't have to do it all over again. So now I'm going to disable it and you can see now I only have the texture and not the color. So that's another interesting uh, tidbit that you can use. And you can add as many um, effects as you want. OK, so I'm going to show you another uh, really cool trick for using layer mask is I'm going to erase all of those effects because I was just showing you for an example. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you really quick how you can um, subtract your subject from the background So uh, using layer mask. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select either the magic wand tool or the quick selection tool or whatever tool you prefer to use um, to select your object or your subject or whatever you're trying to uh, subtract from your background. Now this is going to be the, the plus selection tool and you can use the negative selection tool um, subtraction so you can sub get rid of the, some of the selection you didn't mean to select. Okay, so this is going to be a really quick uh, rough selection here because I just want to show you a quick example. But you can select the object or subject that you want to subtract from your background. Okay, so it's kind of a really rough um, selection here, but you'll at least be able to know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to duplicate your background. So that way you always have a rough copy just in case. So you want to keep it non-destructive. Okay, so now we have our background copy selected and we have our selection selected. So now all you need to do is go down and add a layer mask. So now you see she's completely subtracted from her, her background because we have our layer mask um, effect applied. You can also hit Control or Command I and you can see also um, now we just have our background without our subject. So it completely depends on what effect you're trying to go for, um, but it's definitely interesting I think to know. If you want to further refine these edges, um, you can right click your um, layer mask and you can select select and mask and then there you'll be able to go in and completely adjust it more. Um, another thing that's neat about this is your layer mask again is non-destructive so um, you wouldn't necessarily need a background layer but I like to have one there just in case but now you can see in your layer mask you can fix little areas even more if you need to. Now for something like this uh, you might want to do it really small or have a hard brush completely um, depends. So a neat thing about this now is you can add in a background that you would like. Now I'm just going to really quick use a texture just to show you really quick. This is not a very good background at all but just a quick example. Um, the reason why you can see it is because it's underneath uh, your layer mask. So it's kind of like a hole here. So it's black here and that's our big giant hole in our layer mask. So it's peeking through, the effect is peeking up through that hole. So now you can see that. Another thing you can do also, um, you can add a new fill layer and you can kind of select an area in your image where you want to add. So again, it's just a quick example, but you can see when it's applied over your layer mask and you can also drag it up and replace layer mask and then you can invert that or uh, or you can just drag it right underneath and then it will be applied also. So it's interesting to know all these little tidbits so that you can um, put them together and have full complete 
control over your image. So there we go. I think I covered pretty much everything. If you have any more questions at all, just let me know at uh, support at samana.com and we will be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. I hope this was helpful and I definitely had a lot of fun showing you all the different ways that you can use layer mask um, for your images. Alright, thank you guys so much. Bye guys!